Hello guys, welcome to episode 5 of All Around the World, it's me, Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with another video. And just before we get started, I just want to ask all you guys, if you don't already, please subscribe to the channel. It's my birthday Friday, so if I can get to 30 subscribers, which is a target I've set myself, that'll be swell and that'll mean an awful lot. Now let's crack on with today's episode where we're going to be playing away at Estegal from Tehran. It's a quite a big game. And I've got some bad jokes, good facts for all you guys. Starting with the fact that their name translates to independence, which with all the political upheaval in Tehran is quite interesting. A whole load of their history is up on Wikipedia. For you guys to go read that, I really recommend you do. I'm just going to focus on their footballing history which is really quite impressive when you look at it. They've won the Asian Champions League twice, which is what the two stars above their badge correlate to. They won it in 91 and 99. And all in all, they are the most successful Iranian team, I believe it is, or the most successful team in the Iranian leagues. And also their stadium is named the Azadi Stadium and has a capacity of just over 78,000. So it's stupidly big for a team I've never heard of. We're talking almost Man, almost Man United Old Trafford size there. Really quite a big size. Hopefully you can all see the picture I'm putting up now. And just look at that. It does look very impressive. But I can't imagine that ever being full. But maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong. And also, now let's crack on with the recent results. It's only been a couple of weeks since he was last with me. He was with me here for the Atromitos game in the World Football League Knockout Cup. We did win that game, but ever since then, results have been absolutely sucking. We've played in Nueva Chicago, who despite having Chicago in their name, are actually an Argentinian team. And we was really poor in that game. Nobody played well. Nobody got over a seven. If you look at our highlights and our stats there. Very poor. And then we went and got a nil-nil against FC Lorient. A bit of a better performance there. But Rafael Ramos getting himself sent off right towards the end of the game. Did mean we had to pull everybody back and try and set up shop. Which thankfully we did. And then the latest game that I've just played just now. We went up against IFF Sporg in the league and we lost that 3-1. Again, a very disappointing performance. Only man to come out of it with any sort of credit is was Ant Antonio Nocerino, who did score a very good goal in that game. And now that has left us in the position in the league where now we're not looking anywhere near as comfortable as we was. We've dropped down to fifth We've now lost four times in the league. And actually, if you just look there, there's two teams that are going unbeaten so far. But Norwich have played 12, won 10, drawn two. So I think they are going to be the team that are going to run away with this league. And Sporting Kansas City, they're doing their best to keep up with them. But I don't think they're going to be able to. Hopefully, we can pick up a win today to get ourselves back in contention for that second spot in the league. And maybe even try and push on and try and get close to Norwich to win the league. And the team we've got for today's game is a bit of a change from the last game, I believe. We've got Bond in goal. We've got Ruiz at left back. Hines and Matios in the centre defence. Fosu Mensah on the right side. And in the centre midfield we've got Nocerino, Johnson and Leandrino. Just behind Kaka, who is just behind Larin and Chryson. And let's hope that those players can pick us up a massive three points today. As we're just waiting for the media prediction now. And the media prediction is saying that they think it's going to be a draw. It might be. I'm hoping it's not. I, we do need a win. The sooner we can get a win to get ourselves back into some decent form, the better. And now I'm just going to say to the lads, after our recent shocking results, go out there and impress me. And nobody's taken much notice. That is just swell. Now, just gone to counter there, just because we are away. And I want to try to invite them onto us so we can get back at them. And now, just as the game is starting, we're coming forward with the ball. 
ball goes forward to Lowen, and Lowen is fouled immediately there by Hanif, and I think the referee's going to do too much about that. But we've got a free kick. The highlights continuing. It's Kaka to Mensa. Mensa through to Lowen. Lowen's through on goal, and he has a shot, and the keeper saves it. Very nice start there for us. 40 seconds into the game. Can we keep this going? Can we get a very, very early goal to calm any nerves we might have? As Kaka floats the ball in and Hines tries to head it, but it gets nowhere near the goal. Very disappointing effort there. As now seven minutes into the game, it's Barzai to float it in. And Dev headed it, but Bond, secret agent Bond, saves it there. Saves the world again. Oh, we'll, we'll certainly be saying that. We're in Tehran. Ooh, whoops. Didn't, didn't, didn't really mean to say that. Please, please don't arrest me. Please don't arrest me. I did not mean it. As now the free kick goes wide. And we've got a goal kick coming up from that. Not too much happening so far. We've had three shots to their two. But we've had 55% of the ball, which is nice. If we can keep hold of the ball, hopefully we will have the most efforts. As, ah, oh, Christian's picked up a knock. Okay, I think I'm going to bring, I think I'm going to bring Robbie Keane on. Give him a good hour or so in this game. See what he can do. Oh, I've just bit my tongue. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that was not, that was not clever bad jokes. Oh, now come on. 26 minutes gone on the clock. Can we at least get one decent highlight before half time? Well, love a goal. Come on, lads. 40 minutes gone now. And it's us on the attack. Mensa plays the ball out wide. Ruiz doesn't come near it, just waits for the ball to come to him. He plays it to Leandrino. And it's Lowen with a ball to Kaka. Johnson. Johnson through. Johnson scores. And he's injured himself in doing it. I do not care. He has scored. And he's given up, hopefully, his leg to do it. What's he doing? It's a potential foot injury. He smacked the ball so hard, he's injured himself. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen that before in my life. Cannot wait to see how he's done this in the 3D. What a muppet. What has he done? Okay, now let's have a butcher. See what he's done. Lavin's passed it to Kaka. Kaka's played it through. Johnson's turned and yeah, he as he shot, he's hurt himself. He, he just, I can't think of any other possible explanation. I mean, he's just absolutely whacked that ball. He is not getting back up, is he? What a strange goal. As Kaka now with a free kick, plays it in, it gets headed away. Hines now is onto it, he crosses it in. Matthews with a header, and that's 2 0. Out of nowhere, we've scored two. Oh, no, we haven't. We have not scored two. Oh, Matthias. Oh, I honestly thought we'd scored then. Oh, and just coming up to half time now. That has got to be one of the weirder first halves I have had in a very long time on FM. I'm going to say to the lads, I'm happy with how it's going. Because I am. We're winning and that's all that matters. And we need to get the morale up. As now start of the second half. Estegal with the ball. It's Majidi with the ball. Plays it long. And Borani gets to it. And who's he going to pass it to? Is he going to pass it to anyone? Or is he going to try to try take everyone on himself? He doesn't. He plays it to Heydani. Heydari. And he's going to cross it. And Bond. Nice and easy. Catches it there. As if it was a landmine. Oh whoops. Again. What is it with me? We're in Tehran. Stop saying these things about bombs. It's not right. God stop it. Okay, now let's get it away. It's Ansari out to Heydari. Heydari with a cross. And Fosu makes a heads it away. It's Borzai with it. He crosses it in. And mo many. Oh. Mo many mo problems. Oh, mo many mo many mo problems. Mo many mo goals. That's it. That's what I should be saying. Mo many mo goals. Oh my gosh. Mench has headed it away. Barzai's been gone onto it straight away. And then Mo Many heads it in and Bond. Not really much chance he could have done with that. Disappointing. But can we get back, get ourselves back into this and pick up another goal? We have looked decent going forward. It's just defensively where we have the problems. As now Ray Matty heads it away. And it's Kaimani who heads it down to Heydari. 
And is Heydari going to go past his man? What's he going to do? He, yeah, he goes to Kaimani. Kaimani plays it again. Just out wide. Heydari is definitely one of their better players. But the ball's taken off him there. No, no, it's not. It goes back to Ibami. And Ibami into Ansari. Ansari into Barzai. Barani in, gets it out wide again. Heydari in mountains of space there. That's disappointing, but Bond catches it. He's given away a penalty. Oh, no, he has him. It's Seb Hines. Oh, so much has happened there. I can't keep up. And are, are we going to capture defeat from the jaws of victory? Come on, Bond. This is your moment to shine. Make Q proud. Come on. Sean has got some sort of gadget for saving penalties. Apparently not. Very disappointing. We are behind. Not a good moment here. As we just wait to see this in the 3D. And he runs up. And Bond. Bond's terrified. He just jumped out of the way. You're rubbish at being a goalkeeper and a secret agent, Bond. What on earth are you doing with your life? There's now 61 minutes gone. 2-1 on the scoreline. We've had six shots to their five. And possession has been very 50-50. Not really sure what I can change, but I'm going to think about making changes in a minute. <coughs> Sorry, lads. As now Abrami heads it to Bazari. And Bazari to Esmeli. And what's Esmeli going to do? Gives it wide to Majidi. And Majidi just keeping hold of it there. Not really too much happening. As he plays the ball now, it's Kamari has it. Mensah intercepts it there. I do like Mensah at right back. There's something very good about him there. He does seem to get hold of the ball a lot more than our other right backs have been. And Leandrino now just surrounded by people. Can he get it away? He does. It goes to Ruiz. And Ruiz into Zakura. Zakura going to pass it. Yep, it's Keen. To Kaka. To Larin. To Nocerino. Oh, Nocerino can't really do much with it. Oh, it's through. Keen. Keen equalises. Robbie Keen. He does his cartwheel. It is two all. Second goal since joining us. Very, very nice goal out. We are back level in this game. As now in the 3D, Nocturino passes it and it finds its way to Keane. And Keane very nicely done there. Just slotting it home. And yeah, you are the man. You tell everybody exactly who you are. He is keen to point that out. Budumdus. Did you like that one? And now Leandrino to Zakora. Zakora, is he going to play it wide? No, he plays it back to Hines. Hines into Leandrino, back to Zakora again. Just a bit of tip tapping about here. As now it's Keane with the ball to Takaka, to, to Larin. And come on, turn and pass it. Not Torino. Come on, he goes for the shot and it's saved. But it goes out for the corner. This is more of what I want to see. We are looking the more likely to score now. And come on, 20 minutes left on the clock. Kaka with it. He floats it out. It gets headed away. Keane picks it up. Goes into Nocturino in the box. Nocturino, he, he goes, gets crossed in. And Heydari eventually somehow gets it away. And now I'm just going to make a couple of changes. Not really sure what to do. But we've already made two substitutions because of the injuries. I forgot that. Uh, what do I do? I think Kako's not Kako's been okay, but I don't. But I think it might be time just to bring Giovanni on, see what he can offer. And does he like being an enganche? Yeah, he does. But what do you think about a Sado striker? Yeah, we yeah bring him in as a Sado striker, see what he can do in this last twenty minutes. Can we pick up a win, which will get us back to somewhere close to the playoffs or the promotion places? As now Bahari, he has it and he passes it to Ansari, into Majidi. And is he going to pass it to anybody? What's he going to do? He, yep, he gets it to Ansari, into Barzai, to Majidi. Majidi with it to Ebrahimi. And it goes wide to Hadari, who's in mountains of space there again. What is going on with him always getting space down that right hand side? It gets crossed in as Bahari with it and. He has a shot and it's gone wide. That was an awful, awful shot. He can carry on doing that. The longer he keeps on doing that, the more likely we are to get a winner. 
So please, 15 minutes left. Can we do something here? Is it time to go attacking? I think it's time to at least go control. Actually now, last five minutes, let's, let's go overload, sod it. Come on. Last two minutes of the game, this is going to be the last highlight. Can we get something out of this? That's Ruiz with the ball to Leandrino, to Zakora, Giovanni. Can Giovanni turn? He does. It goes to Larin. Gets it out wide to Ruiz. Can he cross it? He does. But Robson heads it before Keane can get to it. And the ball gets hoofed out. And I do think that is going to be about all she wrote. As now just surely about 20 seconds left on the clock. Come on, referee. At least blow your whistle if we're not going to get a winner. And Ansari plays it to Majidi. And what's Mahigdi going to do with it? He plays it long, but is our defence going to get to it first? Yes, they do. It's Hines back to Bond. And Bond, come on. And that is just the end of the game. Referee blows his whistle. Decent result that. We haven't lost. We've stopped the rot of losing in the league. So I'm going to say to the team, you are unlucky. Just to try and get their morale up. And it's got a few of them motivated. But nothing too spectacular has happened. As we have now dropped down to 6th in the table. We do need to get a win in the league soon. And with all that said and done. That is where I am going to leave it for today lads. If you have enjoyed that video. Please give me a thumbs up down below. And please subscribe to the channel. I really want to get to that 30 subscriber target by my birthday on Friday. So please whack that subscribe button. And follow me on Twitter at BadJokesFM. As always. I am Bad Jokes FM. I am out.